name is Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, we have a very fun little portable espresso machine to review. This is not uh, sponsored. It was not sent to me for free. I purchased this on my own. Uh, I do some traveling here and there, so I thought it'd be kind of a fun uh, thing to have around uh, when I go on trips, road trips. And actually, this technically is approved for a plane as well, so I might give that a shot as well. Maybe I'll uh, report back. Uh, if you have any uh, questions on it, definitely leave it in the comments section. You know, we're live, so you could definitely do that. And then on top of that, um, you can always, uh, you know, click on the link in the description and that'll bring you to the product as well. So, and that helps me out. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and then maybe I'll do a quick demo of it. I've never used one before, so it might be a little struggle, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's open it up. I like the box a lot, it's very nice. It says, be the next one out in Nano. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, let's open this, keep going here. So it looks like there's some recipes in here for Americanos and lattes. And then there's a little cheat sheet here, it looks like. Let's see what this says, how many cups you can make. So this is actually battery powered. And what's cool is this is one of the only portable espresso makers that actually heats water that's at room temperature. Uh, so I thought that was very cool. Uh, most of them you have to have your own hot water and then it'll you know pump out the, the espresso. But uh, this is nice that it actually heats up water. And it says uh, if you start with cold water, it'll actually do four to five shots before it's dead. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, and it just kind of gives you little tips here. So we're going to put this down. We have a little guide here. Portable electric espresso machine user guide. And then another little sheet here. This is a how to use it, looks like. Assuming this will be pretty self-explanatory, but we'll find out. All right, and then here is the actual product. Again, everything's packaged really nice in here. This is about the size of a Stanley. Kind of reminds me of like a Stanley, uh, you know, um, mug. If you're, you're familiar with that. They're like thermoses. Okay, looks like here is a cup. This goes on the other end of this. Like this. Very cool. And then we have... Looks like our little shot maker, dosing cup, and a power cord. So, very cool. Um, so, let's go ahead, take a look at this. It has a cover around it. I'm going to pull this off. Very nice. Uh, Looks like there's a little pull down tab so you could charge it. I think this is where the hot water goes. Looks like you unscrew it. Yep. So you put water in here, hit the power button. I'm going to hit the power button just to see. It does actually have a charge. So that's cool. Um, yeah. And if you click there, it looks like you get a power rating. So you have three of the four. And then. Yeah, it looks like to uh, make a shot, you just unscrew this and you put this in here. Now, this is actually set up, and I, w I wish I had some. I don't have any on hand, but this is actually set up for an Nespresso, uh, the original Nespresso um, capsules. So this would probably be really, really convenient. Throw like four or five of those capsules in your bag and you're on your way out. Maybe even you keep this at your office. I mean, this is really small. It really doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, so you could easily just throw this in a backpack or whatever. Uh, have a few of those and then you're good to go. Um, so yeah, uh, let me, it looks like if you just 
we're using one of the Nespresso's, you would just pop that in the bottom here, and then you'd put this on top. It looks like in this case, I'm actually gonna use my own. You can see there's a bunch of holes here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of do my own thing here, tamp, and then you have these holes here. So let's try that out. I'm gonna actually read the instructions just a tiny bit just to see if we can figure this out. So it looks like step one, put the grounds in. Step three, screw the portafilter. Step four, looks like hot cold water into the tank. Perform this best when you get okay, tips. Do, 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 do. Press the button for two seconds. It will automatically heat and extract. Okay. So let's give it a shot. All I need to do is put some water in here. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'll put, I'll put like this size in here. I'm gonna do hot water because I, or maybe, I don't know, it depends on how long ago this is spread. Yep, can't do it. So I'm gonna do normal cold water. And there's actually, this is a really nice product. You could actually see in here, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but um, there is actually like different um, milliliters you can see in here. So you have 50, 70, and max. So I'm just gonna do 50 milliliters. I'm gonna close this off. And then let me do, so I have my decaf. A little later in the day, we got four o'clock here, so I'm gonna do a little decaf. Gotta get good sleep, folks. It's important. Some people, though, they can drink espresso all day. I used to be able to do that. All right, so let's do this. This is a very small amount. I'm not even gonna measure this, because, I mean, this is, I don't know, maybe eight grams. This is a very small amount of coffee uh, for this little guy here. So let's see. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't pack this tight. Um, I'm going to do not a lot. Again, this is actually like traditionally traditional espresso ground. Um, it's not like a mocha pot, which is probably closer to what you'd want for something like this. All right, so I'm gonna put this. Yeah, it looks like this goes in here. Oop, oh, actually, I take that back. So I think this goes, yeah. This goes in here like that. So you have a different side there. And then this goes on and yeah. Screw it down tight. All right, so again, it says hold for two seconds. I'm going to put uh, an espresso cup down. I'll use my, uh, this one here. So it says hold down for two seconds. I hear it heating up. So as that's heating up, I'm going to just double check to see if there's any other steps I need to be aware of. So it says to do, 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 do. This is the Gen 2. So we can do more than 30 milliliters of espresso. I guess the first one was called the Mini or something like that. So it says press the button two seconds, automatically heat and extract. Please let go of the button when you hear the beep. Press the button for five seconds to quickly press uh, uh, water without heating. So if you already put in hot water, you could just hold it for five seconds. So it'll be interesting to see too how long this takes to heat it up. Oh, you have a little loading screen there. I don't know if you folks can see this from all the way over here. I'll put it right there so you can. You do have like a little loading bar, which is very cool. Um, Yeah, so let's just take a look. All right, 
So, too, if anybody has questions, comments, anything about that, definitely, uh, you know, throw them in the, uh, in the live chat. I'll try to answer them as we go. Um, also, if you haven't checked out the DF64V video, definitely do that. And most importantly, hit the like button. It helps me out a ton. And subscribe to the channel because we are giving away a DF64. So uh, at right at 5,000 subscribers, which we are dangerously close to, we have 4,810 or something like that, 17, something like that. So we only need like a, less than 200 subscribers left. So definitely hit the subscribe button, join that uh, giveaway. I'll leave a link in the comment section below to click on that and you can, you could find that. But um, yeah, and then also coming up just, as we wait for this to heat up, we're at the third one. I do want to show off real quick my next video. I think a lot of people will be excited for this. We have the Turin DF64 Gen 2. This is a hefty guy, so this is a little bit to hold like this. But yeah, this is uh, this is the newest. Um, this is the newest one. Ooh, this is getting hot. You can kind of hear it. I don't know if you could hear it. Boiling for sure. So then I think this is going to just start automatically shooting out some coffee. Pretty cool. Honestly, like if you're on a little road trip or on a flight and you just want some coffee, this is pretty awesome. I'll be interested to see how loud this is. Um, if you're on a flight, maybe it'll be a bit much. Oh, that's not loud at all. Look at that. Whoa, we got some espresso here, folks. That's pretty cool. Doesn't smell half bad either, honestly. All right. So I'm gonna, yep, all right, so it's done. Man, that was pretty easy. I don't know if you guys can see in here. We got a little bit of coffee, nice little shot. Gonna have to give it the taste test. Hey, that's not bad, actually, for for a quick on the go situation, that's not half bad. I can see using that on a pretty regular basis. I have another idea. Imagine you just throw this in your car. Now, I don't know about leaving it, you know, in super hot stuff. So maybe put it like in the uh, glove compartment or something like that, somewhere where it's not hitting direct heat. But if you keep it not super, super hot, and it might even be fine when it's super hot, I don't know. but um, generally electronics and batteries don't do great in super hot heat. So, um, either way though, if you leave this in the car, maybe throw it in a glove box, uh, you have espresso ready to go. Just leave a couple of espresso pods in there, throw it in there, put this in your, um, put this in your, uh, you know, cup holder while you're waiting for it to heat up when right? it's ready to go, freaking make a shot of espresso. I mean, if you have a long commute, I could see that being pretty nice. Don't have to stop for a cup of coffee or espresso if you're into espresso. Um, yeah, so that's the video. Again, if you have any questions on the Outen, um, I think it's a pretty cool device, actually. I, I am pleasantly surprised by this. It's uh, $139 right now retail. Um, again, link is in the description, but I will check you out in the next video. Uh, maybe I'll leave you an update later on how much uh, use I get out of this. Thanks again. See you later.